Bruce Garriak and Mike Trakos of Post Media here at the Console Energy Centre as the Pittsburgh Penguins and San Jose Sharks prepare to face off in Game 2 here Wednesday night. The Penguins got off to a great start with a 3-2 victory here on Monday and they want to pick up where they left off against the Sharks, Mike. Mike, what do the Sharks have to do to get back into the series because they don't think they want to go home down to nothing? No, and I think it starts with the forwards and the forecheck. Uh, we saw in game one that Pittsburgh defense was just so mobile, so quick in terms of their transition game and getting the puck up the ice. And really what San Jose has to do is limit that speed. Uh, I talked to Joel Ward today and he said that they really just got to kind of keep it simple and play the San Jose way. And I think that means just kind of making sure that they're making life tough on them. There, there's a lot of small size defense. And when you're talking about the big guys San Jose have, has with Joel Ward, Joel Thornton, Patrick Marlowe. There's some heavy hitters there that should be able to make life miserable. So I think get a cycle game going and just kind of slow down the pace and really make it tough on them. Well, one of the things that if you talk to people who've been here in Pittsburgh throughout the playoffs is the Pittsburgh Penguins, this isn't the first team that they've, they've imposed their will and their speed on. And, and, and that's why the San Jose Sharks probably struggled so much. But I also think San Jose got great goaltending from Martin Jones and didn't give him enough support. No, and I think uh, goaltending is still going to be a factor. We're talking about two really young goaltenders, and Martin Jones made or faced 40-plus shots, and I thought he looked terrific. It could have been a, a, a totally lopsided game. So uh, I'm not quick uh, to write the series off. I think that uh, we've still got a lot of games to play, and I think we're going to see some pushback. Well, one of, the, one of the things that we're going to find out about tomorrow morning is the, the health of Brian Rust, who's been an excellent playoff performer for this team. Day-to-day uh, -day right now, I, I, if they don't have him, how does that affect him? Well, if, you, if they don't have him, they're going to have Eric Fair in the lineup, and I don't think Eric Fair is the same kind of caliber player as Brian Rust in terms of the quick legs and just how good Rust has been. Like This is a guy that, up until this point, um, didn't come in with a whole lot of experience, but Playoff-wise, he's just been a monster, so I think they really need him, and it would be a huge loss if they don't have him. Well, make sure you stay tuned to Post Media for all the updates from here in Pittsburgh. For Post Media, I'm Bruce Garriock with Michael Dracos.